getting close now. Head for that ridge. The tower makes just over this ridge. You'll see it when you reach the top. Now be ready to act fast. You need to get in and get it done before they raise an alarm. Getting this? I see the legs of a tall neck down there, but no tall neck. Damn. The transmitter's been moved. Check down the ravine to the left. Only place it could be. <sighs> so much for your insider knowledge. Toward the explosions. Great. You got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm and make it count. You see that bridge over the ravine? Yep. Memorize its location. There's a rappel point on the side. That'll be your way out. And these Eclipse troopers? Avoid them, or kill them, your choice. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the tall neck and destroy the module on top. Here we go. I heard some strong This work is not beneath me. I do it for my people, for Meridian. See them. Got a body over they here. Can't see. Fall before the shadows.
Stay apart! <laughs> Is there fighting up ahead? No. It's a mining operation. So long as you're quick, it won't affect you. Oh good, another secret. Hell point. It'll get me out of here, but first I need to crash the network. Shelter. It's bigger than the others. Find the tall neck, Aloy. There's no time to poke around. There is if I make time. What is this place? A distraction. There are several data points.
the third. My lord, the thirteenth king of the Karsha Sundom was murdered. Cut down by cowards who mistook firm rule for madness. Ever the strong are beset upon by the weak. So he said, as the traitors launch their assault, as their cannons forged by Asaram filth toppled the battlements and burst the gates. I would have fought to the end. But it was his will, the will of the sun, that I lead the prince and queen into the west, to safety. My lord did not hesitate. He saw his fate. He looked into the sun, and he did not blink. With me, he sent kestrels, nobles, sun priests, and slaves. Killing all that stood in the way, I carved a path to Sunfall. There, we joined others to gather the strength to take back our home. But our strength only faded until the buried shadow was brought to light. of the sun? A blazing light of faith to shred and scatter darkness? Was it not my place to destroy this devil? But High Priest Bahavas instructed me in the prophecy and set right my frame of mind. The murder of the true Sun King broke the cosmic cycle short of completion. The whole world cast into darkness, doomed. To resume and turn the wheel of time would require more than sun and faith. All forces must combine, all halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, night to day. Even a buried shadow wants the wheel to turn, for without a sun in the sky there can be no shadow. Never does the sun shine. Never does the sun show pity. And yet, when my wife died in birthing, and in dying into the life of my child unborn, I pitied myself. My lord sensed this, but instead of casting me down for weakness, he cast upon me a radiant beam of honor. He ordered my kin buried in the sacred caves reserved for royals and heroes. Unimaginable. Never again would I doubt that I am the chosen of the sun. Never again would pity find a place in me. Not for myself or another. I slipped from the bed, 
threw open the casement and lay naked on the stone floor, determined to spurn all seductions of comfort. But when I woke the next morning, you lay beside me, naked as I in the cold. Your body, stretched beside mine, seemed chiseled from stone. I saw you wake, instantly alert, like an animal ready to strike. You said nothing. You did not have to. Already you had shown me beyond doubt that we were meant to be. like in a glittering spike through the center of my mind. Every daybreak in exile is a mark of failure, but the count of days runs thin. I will see Meridian retaken, the profligate slaughtered, a true king restored to the Mesa throne. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. There's only one man big enough to wear this. Yes. This is his shelter. Not exactly fancy. What would you expect of a fanatic? His only extravagance is his brutality. So you know him? Just enough to want to stop him. He's a fanatic, all right. Single-minded. It gives him a focus that you seem to lack. Now how about finding that tall neck? Cross. Won't be much farther. It would have been easy to drag the tall neck down this path. Why bother? 
Just find it and get to the top. Destroy the Machu and then get out fast as you can. Sure is a lot of blasting up there. Sounds busy. Busy enough not to notice you, let's hope. I see it. They've built some kind of structure around it. Climb it. The sooner this is done, the better. I don't like this. It feels wrong. Everything here is wrong. Just get to the module and destroy it. See the module. Good. Now be quick. This. This is Hades. Aloy, this is not the time. It's a metal devil. Open the module's casing now. Aloy, do as I say, or all is lost.
I noticed. Keep moving. Watch out, there's more here. Bridge in sight. That's the way out. I know. going, but you survived. You knew Hades was there, and you sent me to him? I won't deny I risked your life, but it was the only way. Now, with the focus network down, we can both get what we want. Access to the secrets of Zero Dawn. I'm past trusting you with secrets. Good. That means you're wising up. Trust is for fools. It shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest. Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. We both need answers, Aloy. And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's not for We'll speak again. You miserable... Damn him. If I could toss this focus and be rid of you, Silence, I would. But we both know I need it. Sunfall it is. And Zero Dawn. 